there is something called the denominational right. That is, you as a sampradaya, you can administer your own temples, your own institutions, your own charities. You can decide what is your right in the uh, religious matters. You can decide how to administer your institution. I think it's very clear. I just highlighted the word denomination there. If you are a denomination, if you are a sampradaya, you can establish and maintain institutions, you can manage its own affairs in matters of religion, which is not subject to anything except public order, morality and health, the second line. Why public order, morality and health? I have been running this temple, this temple festival, 50,000 people come for this temple festival, then there is suddenly an outbreak of cholera in that area. Can the uh, district collector order 144 saying no people should come from other districts, people from here should not go out. I am cancelling this festival. Yes, he can do that. He can do that under health. I am running this festival for 150 years. Suddenly there are two factions and they have a dispute, a huge dispute. And if I run the festival, there will be violence, there will be murders. Again, the police recommends cancellation of the, yes, they can do it in public order. You can't claim denomination right here, religious right here. And morality. I am not talking about constitutional morality. I am talking about actual morality, dharmic. Supposing you start a religion because you can establish and maintain. You start a religion and as per your religion, whatever recent law the Supreme Court has upheld regarding adultery is your core of your religion. Let's say, my religion is adultery. <laughs> I don't know if it's any more immoral. I don't know. I am just giving an example. Let's say we are talking, we are talking about this in 2017. No, you can't do that. So, in matters of religion, you subject to public order, morality, and health, you can do anything. In matters of property, you can acquire, you can own, and you should run it as per law, according to law. That means I will pay my taxes, I will not occupy others' property, and if somebody occupies my property, I'll seek a legal relief. I will run my properties. Government says you have to pay ABC taxes, you have to keep accounts like this, you have to have audit. Yes, I will follow all of that according to law. Now, this is a right given to a set of people, denomination. In 1954, Supreme Court was called upon to define denomination because our uh, wonderful fathers of the constitution, they failed to define. Now, this is the Hindi version of this uh, Indian constitution. It was translated in 1949-1950, it was ready, but unfortunately the parliament adopted it only in 1987. The uh, equivalent word for religious denomination is Dharmic Sampradaya. I talked a little while ago about what is uh, denomination, church denomination, what is a Sampradaya. Sampradaya, nobody is stopping anybody. Even, uh, sorry? Even religion is not done, but for the constitutional purposes, I belong to a particular dharmic sampradaya. I run my institutions as per that sampradaya. That's a, that is the right given to me. But in 1954, there is on pgurus1.com, if you have time, go see it. I have written an article there, how we were shortchanged of this formal right. Now, denomination means actually naming something. You denominate. You call a class of things under a particular name. Okay? You say this is a bovine animal. Correct? You say these are bitter curbs, some kind of vegetables under coming under a family. You name them. Okay. Now the name the word denomination had five meanings. It's the same thing found in the Webster's, which the Madras High Court took and applied the meaning. For the original Shurman judgment, it went on an appeal to Supreme Court. Supreme Court, a seven judge bench, said it took the definition from the Oxford Dictionary. Then it quoted the five a collection of individuals classed together under the same name. Now, almost always, specifically, a religious sect or body having a common faith and organization and designated by a distinctive name. Now, I am not a master's in English. 
Okay, I'm I'm a master's in commerce, which uh, I don't know if it means anything or not. A religious sect or body having a common faith or organization. This is a very church-oriented definition. A religious sect does not have any need for a common faith. A sect is religious sect is it means you know if you say sun, it means the luminous body, the closest to star. You don't have to say the sun that rises in the east every time. You don't have to. A religious sect means it is already given that it has a common name, a common faith. It is a group of people. That way it is a spiritual organization. Now you have a society in US and all, the Mormons, they formed a society to form a church. So in those cases, a body having a common name, common organization and a common faith, they formed a denomination. So to be a denomination, you either be a religious sect or a body having common features or see the first one, a collection of individuals classed together under the same name. Now tell me, there are millions of people coming to Shabarimala, all wearing a mala, all believing in Ayyappa, all saying Swami Sharanam Ayyappa, all observing the breath, okay, all being called Ayyappans or Ayyappamar, will they not come under the first definition? Is this not also the definition given by the Supreme Court seven judge bench? How can today one or two or three of the judges or the five judge bench say, no, they are not a denomination? Will not the first one apply? To be a sect, you have to be a, you have to have a common faith organization. How will million people coming from all directions, how will they have an organization? Now do you see how the rights of Hindus are denied? Now the most important right we saw some time ago, administer their properties without interference. Government cannot come, government cannot take away property if you are a denomination. Now government is sitting in all our temples, how? Because of Supreme Court's interpretation of the word denomination found in one of the very important fundamental right. Now, okay, I take a word from a dictionary, meaning, should I take only from Oxford Dictionary? Should I? That is an important question. But the more surprising thing is, what, a, what does Oxford Dictionary say now? Can you see this word denomination? A church or religious sect. That's what it means. So how will Ayyappa Bhaktas be a church? The church of Ayyappa. Born again so that you are never born again. Tat Pham Asi. This is another concise. Hey, uh, okay. A recognized autonomous branch of church of religion. So the Tantri should be the Bishop of Kotayam. Okay? Or Patranditta. But I don't know which church. Matoma or Jacobite. Hmm? This is also Oxford Dictionary. Who, will, who is going to tell that to Supreme Court? So this is the original New English Language Dictionary they took. What does it say now? A recognized autonomous branch of the Christian Church. Or a Jewish clergy. Okay, one more concession. Fine, you defined denomination using Oxford Dictionary. You define again. Oxford Dictionary is there, updated version. Are your lordships using again Windows 95? Okay, some of you never became lordship when Windows 95 was there. So, do you see how our fundamental rights, even though the constitution gave it, 
as dharmic sampradayas we are allowed to manage our own institutions in the manner our sampradaya says as long as the sampradaya does not violate public order morality or it will cause ill health to its believers it should not be tampered with i am not talking about sabarimala alone i am talking about tirupati it is a tenkalai sri vaishnava temple am i correct sir uh, yes it's actually it is um, it's a vaikanasa temple vaikanasa temple correct but also the sri vaishnava paddhatis are followed it, it will come under sampradaya or not yes definitely sir. so who should administer it only that sampradaya yes the enormity of the income or the properties should not deter oh we need government but are you are you because the velangani church is getting 100 crores is the government taking over you know they are not but they took over sai baba temple shirdi the collector is the administrator it is not even a hindu temple jai shri ram har har mahadev